Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a highly requested video. I posted on Instagram this picture, I'll just insert it, last week and I asked you all if you would like to see a tutorial on how to use these Wet n Wild bronzers and highlight as eyeshadows. I had so many of you guys say that you would love to see a tutorial on this, so I decided to go ahead and film it for you guys today. So if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look and how to use these Wet n Wild bronzers and highlights as eyeshadows, just keep on watching the video and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. I'm gonna take the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. And I'm just going to put this color in the crease of my eye. Just a really good dusting of that, just all over, from here all the way over. This one over here on the left side is Bikini Contest, and this one over here is Ticket to Brazil. So hopefully you can tell the difference in the shades. I'm gonna also go in with the E40 brush and I'm gonna get some of this bikini contest on here. And then I'm just gonna also focus this here in the crease. I'm gonna go in now with this other color icon. It's in the bronzers, but this is honestly a highlight. It's not a bronzer. I don't know who in the heck would be pale enough for this to be a bronzer. Um, but this is in the color Reserve Your Cab Cabana. <laughs> Reserve Your Cabana. I don't even know what kind of accent that would have been. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this large shader E60 brush by Sigma, and I'm gonna get some of the shade on this brush. And I'm just gonna pat it here on the eyelid, just all over the entire eyelid. This color is so beautiful. Like, I just picked this up about two weeks ago, and I could not believe that I did not own this color in Reserve Your Cabana before. Like, it is such a beautiful highlight, and also a really beautiful eyeshadow. So, I highly, highly recommend this. I mean, I highly recommend all the colors I'm using today. Like, they're just awesome quality. Like, they'll last forever. So pigmented. So affordable. So, yeah. I just love all these colors so much. And I'm also going to put a little bit of this Reserve Your Cabana here in the inner corner of my eye. Just put a little bit of that right below my brow bone. Okay, for this next part, I'm actually not going to use the bronzers or the highlights, but I am going to use a different product. It's not necessarily in, uh, marketed as an eyeshadow, but you can use it as an eyeshadow, and it's my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, and this is in the shade Light, and I'm going to go in with this very bottom brown color here. And I'm going to put that on the pencil E30 brush. I'm going to run this here on the lower lash line. This color combination just looks so pretty. And you would never think to really use all these products as eyeshadows. Um, at least I feel like most people probably wouldn't. I'm going to go in with the E25 Blending Brush by Sigma. Get some of the same brown that I used on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to, in little circular motions, just focus it right out here in the outer V. And then I'm just going to lightly kind of bring it into the crease. Take it over about right to here. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the Ticket to Brazil bronzer color. And with that same E40 blending brush, I'm just going to kind of blend the crease a little more from where we put that dark shade in the outer V. And then that is it for the eyeshadow. And it looks so pretty without liner. It looks good without liner. So you can just do whatever you want with this. Today I am going to go ahead and put some liquid liner down. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up, but I'm just using my Black Elf Liquid Liner. And 
I went ahead and did my mascara off camera because I'm filming a first impression kind of review on this Maybelline The Colossal Chaotic Lash Mascara and that review will be up this Friday. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out for that if you're interested to know my thoughts on this mascara. I'm going to go in with the Bikini Contest, or I'm sorry, the Ticket to Brazil Bronzer. And I'm going to use the... I cannot talk today. I'm going to use this Real Techniques large powder brush to apply this bronzer. And I'm just going to put it in the areas where the sun would naturally bronze my face. And then I'm just going to take this and put it up here on my temples and around my hairline. And this bronzer has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not 100% matte. And then I'm just going to take some here on my jawline and here on my neck to just kind of bronze this area up. And then I will go in with just a little bit of the Bikini Contest bronzer. Just a little bit of this. I kind of get the excess off on the back of my hand here with this brush and just put it right here on my cheeks just to kind of deepen this up a little bit. Give it a little more depth and just take the leftovers and put it up here, a little bit on my chin. Now I'm gonna go in with the Reserve Your Cabana highlight and I'm gonna go ahead and put that down as my highlight and I'm gonna dust it here on my cheekbones. And this highlight has like the right amount of like sheen or shimmer to it. It's not so intense that it looks crazy, but it just adds that little bit of glow. And then for my blush, I'm just gonna use this Dream Bouncy Blush by Maybelline in the color Coffee Cake. And then I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of blend it back. This color just complements these, or these bronzers so nicely. And it just looks so nice for the summer. It gives you a really nice bronze glow. And then for the lips, you could go so many different routes with this makeup look. This makeup look is just so versatile. You could do a nude lip, you could do a bright, bold lip. You could just do whatever. I'm gonna use this color that I featured in my um, haul video on the new CoverGirl products and also on my first impression of the new CoverGirl products. This is one of their Jumbo Gloss Balm Creams and this is in the color 300 Nectarine Dream and it is a gorgeous orange. So that is what this lip color looks like on. It is so beautiful. These bronzers and this highlight, they don't get enough love here on YouTube. These are awesome products. They're so affordable, so pigmented. They're just awesome. So yeah, if you guys have other ways that you all use these products, let me know down in the comments because I would be curious. I love finding new ways to use makeup products, um, like kind of repurposing makeup products. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye guys.